Nobody on the staff is in New York City, Fifth Avenue, Manhattan penthouse, more than one Jacob de Grump. The Cy Young winner deserves top billing, and as the ace of this rotation, his location in New York is reserved for the most esteemed. Also has elite flow when he wants it, which is the best part. You can call his shot. Also doppelganger of SNL alum, Taron Killam. You lost me on that one, <laughs> Quinn, help me out. Yeah, I mean, look, the guy's stuff is unbelievable. I mean, the flow, we could talk for 30 minutes on its own about the flow situation. You all know how much we love product and styling around here at Baseball Tonight Live. But his slider is still the craziest thing in the world. He can push that thing up over 90 miles an hour, which is completely unhittable. And if you talk about the high end of the real estate market, that's like the, I don't know, the walk-in shower with bidet all at once, something that's only in one place. He's only the one who's got that, and that's the Grom. I love this guy. Every time I see a bidet, I'm like, how are you supposed to use this thing? What do you do? I don't understand it, so. The robot bidets in Japan are crazy. <laughs> I'm the standard toilet guy. Guys, we're moving on to Marcus Stroman. He's like, you know, the newish guy. Lower East Side, follow me here. A character brownstone, while nice and desirable, the structural integrity of something like that often comes into question. And if you think I'm lying, well, how's his calf been? So while still top of the line, inspection very much needed and rehab, therefore, could be very costly. Basically, what I'm saying is, yeah, it's a nice product, but you really have to do your research, June. Yeah, I mean, Strowman, I think, as, as someone who used to live in the Lower East Side, <laughs> I think Strowman kind of fits right in. Just his, his entire vibe, he would just blend right into that scene. Uh, I, the, the, uh, the, the model, Luca Sabat, who's, like, really cool on Instagram, okay. like, he's, he was, bro uh, like, born and bred in the Lower East Side. Uh, and I think Strowman gives off a, a very similar vibe in the baseball world. Clint, you pitched this location. I have no idea about it geographically, so I'm going to follow you on this one. I said he was a Brooklyn brownstone because the top end of his robust ability to have a lot of things encompassed within him is what makes him like such. By the way, have you ever seen his dad? He's the most diesel dude out there, so don't be questioning his foundation Biggest when it comes biceps. down to a lot of stuff. My point is, though, my point is, though, is that what you get at the top end of the Marcus Stroman experience is exactly what the home of a brownstone is. Good looking out front, but you don't know what's back in there because there's a lot of space. And if you actually find a way to get that developed and get that built up and get that styled, then you're going to have a product like nothing else you've seen in New York. First of all, I'm going to say his foundation is currently the only thing that's in question right now because the left calf, the left calf is giving him all sorts of trouble. So without the foundation, without the steady base, you can't build up Clinton, but I feel you on the, we'll uh, the Brooklyn Brownstone. Brownstone. All right. <laughs> Marcus Stroman's dad has the biggest biceps in the world. If you, if you go check out Marcus Stroman's yes. Instagram. Okay. Maybe I'll Google that Earl after this show. Is his name. Uh, Noah yeah. Syndergaard. Now, I'm having heavy objection here from one June, so I'm going to team up. Because I said he embodies, you know, the Hell's Kitchen experience, maybe Brooklyn. He's very Thor. He's been through hell and back as he gets engulfed by the flames there. And he's the only pitcher on the staff who looks natural rocking the man bun, which I thought was like quintessential Brooklyn. And I didn't know Hell's Kitchen and Brooklyn weren't the same. Yeah, they're not remotely <laughs> Hell's Kitchen is Hell's Kitchen is literally Midtown near Broadway, and Brooklyn is obviously Brooklyn. And Brooklyn's bigger than Manhattan, by the way. Uh, also, I think you're also just basing this off of the man bun aesthetic, and I'm 100%. not sure. And I'm not sure that just the aesthetic of Brooklyn is enough to kind of say that uh, <laughs> Syndergaard fits right in. Although he might fit in Williamsburg. I see a man bun. I automatically say Brooklyn. Clint, you say what? I think the Syndergaard reminds me of Hell's Kitchen because he probably should be a bigger star, but isn't a star in terms of what he represents overall. But this kid can really play. The flow, again, with him is fantastic. But Syndergaard's a guy who I think probably should be a lot more famous just in terms of who he is. But alas, he isn't. Kind of like Hell's Kitchen. All right, guys, you might be watching and be like, what the heck are those three guys talking about? So we're going to wrap this up with Rick Porcello, who's starting tonight making his Mets debut. He's actually a New Jersey guy. He wouldn't even be living in New York if he hadn't become a free agent. Matter of fact, he opts to commute public transport right in New Jersey, Jersey Transit all the way in. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.